So in last video, we have seen that how to get this user access token. Now the second step is to get a long access token that can be valid up to 60 days instead of just like short lived user access tokens. So let's see how to generate those tokens. For that, I already prepared a Jupyter notebook. Let me open that. So here we are using two libraries. One is requests and second is JSON. The first one we are using to like trigger a TTP request. And the second is just to like print the output in nice format. First of all, our step is to gather all the variables that we have generated from our last video. First one is like IG user ID, which is our Instagram business account ID that we got from this Graph API Explorer by running one API. Second is app ID and app secret uh, that we got it from like Meta app. In app settings basic, this is our app ID and app secret. User access token, if you remember, we generated that using this access token tool provided by Meta. So to get long access token, uh, all four variables are required. Now let's see how to get this long access token. And to get this long access token, the URL is uh, like we need to like this is the access token endpoint and the parameters are grant type just write fb exchange token the client id is our app id client secret is our app secret and the fb access exchange token is our user access token so that's the same url what we need to do is we need to like perform a get request on this URL. We don't require any headers here. And from this response, just get the access token. So let me run the cells. So you can see now we have this long access token, which is like uh, valid up to like 60 days. And uh, like to run any Instagram APIs, we just need this token, that's all. And our Instagram this business account user ID. So only these two things are required to run any Instagram API. So uh, let's see, like let's test one API. So in this documentation, the page is called business discovery. It is showing that uh, how to get information about any Instagram business account. So first of all, we will fetch our, our accounts, followers and media account, right? So as you can see, we don't have any followers or we, we don't have any post yet because the account is new. So just see what this URL does. I already copied it in one of the cell like here. So which is the same as this one, right? So in it is passing your Instagram business account ID, uh, which we already added here, IG user ID. The second line is uh, about getting fields and what what username we want to fetch. And we are going to add our user here. And we are going to get followers count and media count. And we just need to provide our long X token here. Yeah. That we generated on our last cell. So I just parameterize this URL here uh, our business account user id fields uh, username is as i mentioned we are going to test our user first which is fb api test and require parameter we are going to fetch our followers count and media count right and access token i'm providing this access token so 
which is just a get request and from this response uh, we are fetching those details so, so this is the original response returned by this request uh, as you can see our followers count are zero and media count are zero because our account doesn't have any followers or media right so it means our access token is fine he is able to authenticate ourselves to get some results with this instagram apis and yeah that's all for the video